little kitty. Ring ring little kitty. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Okay. Can I put you on the floor? Thanks. Hi, hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're new. I'm awkward so I keep doing like weird things with my hands. I'm sorry. So this video is an important video to me. So I asked you on Instagram to ask me personal things about my body positivity and body image and all of that jazz. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm very big on body positivity. I post it quite often on my story. Um, just at any given moment, I'll share like posts about it and make it clear that it's a very important thing that like everybody should really be looking at. I don't speak too much about my own body positivity though and I don't really speak about my own body image. I just share like posts and you know, preach it. But um, I've never spoke about my own personal experience with it. Apart from when I was in the wonderful, oh, I just need to drop that. As I was saying, I have spoke about it once and that was on YouTube already, but not on my own channel. That was on the wonderful Jessies. She asked 33 people to speak about their stomach um, and just describe it and all of those nice lovely things. So after you finish this video the link for that will be in the description and there is some wonderful wonderful people in there and it's a really lovely video and it's really good if you're getting into body positivity. Um, so I definitely recommend giving that a watch and that also helped me feel comfortable to make this video today. My poster really is trying to steal the spotlight right now. I'm going to get into the questions that I made you guys ask me on Instagram. I asked you to be as personal and as open as you like because I want this to be like an honest space and I want it just me to tell you the truth and not sit here and pretend like I'm so confident in my body all the time. Yeah, because it's just not the truth and I feel like we need to be more honest. So yeah, I'm rambling now, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first question is, what are you insecure about on your body? I don't wanna straight up say what I'm insecure about on my body, purely because of the fact I remember watching YouTube videos about body positivity and then somebody would say something they're insecure about and like it would be something that I've never even thought about in my life. Like I've always been fine with it. And then somebody will say, I don't like this about myself. And then I kind of be like, well, what's wrong with it? So I watched this YouTube video once and there was a part of my body that I'd never even thought about. I was like, why does that need to be something I dislike about my body? Um, and then she sat there and she just rambled on for like five minutes um, about why she didn't like this thing. And I was like, my mind looked like that. So then I started to get this whole like complex about that body part. Um, so... I don't like saying straight up this is what I'm insecure about. I do definitely have things I'm insecure about but I don't want to add on to other people's insecurities so that's the only thing that I'm not going to answer purely for the sake of like other people. And of course like I'm not saying if you say what you're insecure about you're a terrible person because it's just not the case. Obviously people don't think about it in that way but I think it's something to take note of. What stage would you say you're at with your body confidence? I would say that I am in body acceptance. I'm not completely there and in love with my body yet, but I'm working on it and I'm also not at the stage where I hate my body and I want to change it and it's just constant at war with it. I'm just in the middle where I'm like neutral and I'm like, okay, this is what I have, this is what I'm working with and we're going to keep moving forward. Opinions on people like the Kardashians promoting diet teas and appetite suppressants. Oh my god, this gets on my last nerve. I can't deal with them, to be honest, because it's just, their feed is just constantly, like, diet tea, appetite suppressants, waist trainers, like, just endless, endless ways to change your body, and it's just like... Like, there's so many young people that follow the Kardashians and love them and it's just going straight into their brain. Like, I need to look like these people. 
Khloe Kardashian's telling me to go and get a waist trainer, I'm gonna go and crush my organs for her. Or Kim Kardashian's telling me to eat a lollipop instead of eating my dinner, I'm gonna go do that. Like, it's just, it's not good. Um, it's really crappy. And diet teas are the worst, worst things in the world. Um, it's not even gonna make you lose weight you'll lose weight for like a couple of days because literally it's a laxative all you're gonna do is just poo and poo like you're just gonna have diarrhea for the next week and then your stomach might be flat for two days and then uh, it's gonna come straight back on as soon as you eat a meal like it's the most ridiculous thing all it's gonna do is cause you digestive problems and make you poo a ton so uh that's my opinion on the Kardashians and things like weight loss products. Who is your favourite body positive influencer? For me, it has to be Body Posi Panda on Instagram, also known as Megan. Um, I think she's amazing and she's the reason that I got into body positivity. I scrolled across her account um, and I was like, whoa, she is just living her best life. She couldn't care less what anybody thinks about her. Like, that's really cool. She is also the first body positive book that I ever bought, um, and I'm currently rereading it. I definitely recommend this if you want to read more about body positivity. I think it's a really lovely book and it's a really good starter. If you're getting into it it's got so much information and good points and it really helped me in like a really rough patch with my body so recommend it if you're interested in reading up about it do you work out personally I don't um, I did for a little while but it got unhealthy um, it wasn't good for me it wasn't something that I wanted to carry on because it was causing like really negative body image for me um I got very like obsessed and like I want to go to the gym all the time and I want to look like this girl in the gym and that girl like it's just it wasn't good for me so I took myself out of it after a month um a lot of people find that going to the gym helps with their body positivity and it feels good to move and I do recommend it if it's a healthy way and it's just something you feel good doing but um, I would never do it again to lose weight because that's initially what I was doing it for in the first place um, but it's not healthy to get obsessed with it and it's just a whole big thing yeah go to the gym if you enjoy it don't go because you want to change your body or how you look because you're not going to enjoy it and it's unhealthy and it's not good that's all I have to say. Okay, so these two people ask like similar questions, so I'm gonna merge them together. So the first half of this girl's question is, how do you stay body positive? Um, for me, I'm not all the way there, but I'm getting there. I do surround myself with just body positive people on social media. I follow a lot of various body types, a lot of body positive accounts. Um, YouTube channels that promote body positivity, books that talk about it, um, just a lot of surrounding myself in it rather than surrounding myself in the constant same body type promoted by the media and just kind of variety basically and just constantly, constantly just looking for positivity online because social media is a very toxic place um, and I think the same body type is often worshipped a lot on there so it's really good to just have a feed that's just various different people normal people like every day who don't have personal trainers chefs, dietitians, all of that stuff and then the second half of the question is what do you do when you have rough days with your body and another person asked do you ever have days where you just don't like how your body looks how do you deal with it so they're pretty similar questions so I'm gonna add them together I definitely have rough days with my body I think it's only human to have days where you just aren't feeling yourself and that's okay you're not going to be positive all the time 
and one bad day doesn't mean you're not body positive like you're going to have bad days you could be the happiest person alive and you're going to have bad days still so if you are getting into body positivity and you have days where you just aren't feeling it then don't panic because everybody does i usually deal with it by just i put on comfiest clothes i can find oversized i just try to be as nice as possible to myself and just kind of chill out and just dive into a body positive book or like something like a podcast on it just anything to kind of remind myself that it's okay to feel this way um and it's completely human and it's just how it is some days because that's just how my brain works okay your opinion on stretch marks should they be hidden because the media doesn't find it attractive obviously stretch marks are a completely natural normal thing everybody has them they're just part of your body it's not that deep um i think the media is slowly becoming more exception of it and i'm seeing more like when i'm shopping online more people don't have their stretch marks photoshopped out and i'm seeing a lot more people posting photos of their own and saying this is me the media is a toxic place and they will try and make anything unattractive because really they just prey on insecure people and really it's a whole industry like a lot of the industry prey on insecure people because that's how they make their money like they don't want people to stop being insecure because they want people to keep buying their weight loss products and the next new thing that's going to make your stretch marks magically go away like newsflash stretch marks don't magically go away they're part of your body they're human they're normal that's how you were made it's how it is and they're beautiful anyway and the media will just do anything to get your money so if you have stretch marks you're not the only one don't worry they're great it's just part of your body and that's all it is and that's all that matters what do you find hard about your body positivity i think i'm a person who cares a lot about what other people think of me it's very hard because I try to please everybody so it's one of those where it's like if I want to wear something I always kind of have in the back of my head what will this person think what will this person think what if they speak about me what if they like share the photo to this person if I post something on Instagram that I'm uncomfortable about it's just for me constantly trying to not let people get into my head and not care about what anybody else thinks um because that's something i do a lot um and i'm working on it and i'm trying to be like stuff you i do what i like um so that's definitely the hardest part is other people did people ever comment on your body now they don't i did get a comment the other week about my arms um but it's okay because they just called me weak i know i'm weak I don't care they used to not very often I had a few comments like I remember once in year eight and I was traumatized because this small child came up to me and asked me if I was pregnant um but nobody has said it to my face apart from that small irritating child I'm quite lucky and thankful in that sense because that would have wrecked my self-esteem. People have probably like 100% said things behind my back because that's just how the world is unfortunately but I'm trying to just be like mm, well it's none of your business and plus if anybody feels the need to talk about you behind your back they're probably insecure themselves so what can you do so thank you for watching that is the end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed and hopefully you took something from this video um it's kind of a big deal for me to post this because of the whole i care what people think situation um but i feel like this is an important topic and it needs to be spoke about a lot more especially by young people because it's such a big issue 
right now with social media and the beauty standard that just through the roof so please be kind to yourselves research body positivity i promise you it is a wonderful wonderful thing and you won't regret it and yes please subscribe if you're new and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i will see you soon